Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. Hope you're doing alright and may you stay blessed. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Say hi or say hi back. Our vlogging channel Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Shikami did that in the spotlight one of the teens. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. La ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Ya ma ya khair. My apologies to the encroach on His Highness's invaluable time. We need to see him. And we have needed what you said for him. If the Quran is indeed from God, does it contradict itself in as much as it says, okay. Therefore, Jesus was born, he died, and he rose again. The verse in question is, Wassalamu alayya yawma wulittu wa yawma amutu wa yawma ubasuhayya. Which translated means, so peace is on me, the day that I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised to life again. The day that I die, it is not the day that I died. It's not died, it's in the future. Sheikh Ahmad did that. I am truly lucky to have the opportunity to know you so close. I just met Mr. D. Doc this afternoon, just a few minutes really, I should say this evening. And he's one of the type of gentlemen that you meet and you like him instantly. I want us to give Mr. D. Doc a big hand of welcome of friendship to our city of Baton Rouge. Tonight, I take great pleasure in presenting my friend, whom I'm meeting personally for the first time, Mr. Didat, with a present. <laughs> Sheikh Ahmad Didat, without the least of embarrassment, on my side I say to you, you are an individual who is a phenomenon a personality that is stated itself with excelment and the qualification. And went into the house of the Lord. Correct, sir? Yes, I am following. Yes. And going on to verse 14, Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it, and Hezekiah, and on and on. Word for word the same. Yes. But, sir, I am not reading from the book of Isaiah. 
I'm reading from the book of Kings. <laughs> These twins are not twins. <laughs> you see, these twins here, they look alike, identical. Page for page is the same. But they are not the same. You are a personality with a special facets, very, very special. I see you as a knight of the knights of the word, of dialogue and debate. <laughs> It has different kind of translations following exactly the same principle as when the Bible has been translated. I can prove that reading from this one that was translated by Abdullah Yusuf Ali and reading from this one that we bought in Lahore, Pakistan translated by Mulana Muhammad Ali. Every translation has an Arabic text. In other words, this is what we say is the word of God. The translation is not infallible. No translator is infallible. That means now every translation is the word of God. We say no, the word of God is the Arabic Quran. That is what you're talking about. But as far as the Bible is concerned, I was I, I produced text to say now one or none. The answer is not given. I see you a romantic person at times and an experienced fighter, witty and vigilant, other times. On facing and confrontation, you don't give way or soften. On the contrary, you become stronger and your zeal becomes sharper, and you are served with a convincing argument. Like the shattering heavy artillery or showering machine gun bullets that penetrate through the shields, if the Quran is indeed from God, does it contradict itself in as much as it says, okay. mm -hmm. Therefore, Jesus was born, he died, and he rose again. The verse in question is, Wassalamu alayya yawma wulittu wa yawma amutu wa yawma uba suhayya. Which translated means, so peace is on me, the day that I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised to life again. The day that I die, it is not the day that I died. It's not died, it's in the future. Those who saw your debates on the stage and on the television do not only watch and listen to you, but they also enjoy your presence and get entertained by you as if they are following one of the living pulsating drama full of conflict with escalating dramatic action and i have here a pipe poison and you please can you please testify for the audience that you have the true faith in Jesus? <laughs> I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I, I'm shaking a little bit. Excuse me. But listen now. You see, you asked me if I believe in Jesus. And I want to tell you. I believe in Jesus as it is written in the Gospels. I don't believe in Jesus as it is written in the Quran. I'm asking him, I'm asking him, if you want to kill me, I must have five minutes more. The Quran denies that Jesus is Messiah. And I believe in the, in the way the Bible says that Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he's the prophet that says that Jesus is the Christ is of God. And this is the only faith after Jesus Christ, the only non-Christian faith which claims and speaks to the whole world that Jesus is the Christ. Who made us to say that? Muhammad. And the law book says that whoever a prophet says that is so, he is from God. And that is that we Muslims happen to be the of
I need to do that in the spotlight. It comprises of many different videos um about of I mean I mean that that's what we have to understand first of all. I don't even know what to uh comment on because the video wasn't exactly specific, you know. Um otherwise I think it's trying to shine light on how I mean did that deals with situations once in the spotlight once he's given the mic to speak how he responds how he doesn't fall back on what he says he still stands to prove it effortlessly of course and uh people many people appreciate him and i feel like the people that made this video were also meant to honor and appreciate the work that he actually um does i always say to myself and sometimes in my videos that i mean did that was someone worth meeting i mean i'm jealous of the people that actually met him while he was still around he's just he's somehow relatable and um i feel like there's a certain warmth to him that people feel when they ask whatever they ask and he gives them the answer sometimes the one the answer they're looking for sometimes they don't get the answer that they're looking for but he's just that person that i feel can pump sense into someone or speak something and you actually believe it you know let me know what you guys actually think about i mean did that in the spotlight what are your thoughts uh are there any contributions you'd love to make what can you say about i mean did that in general if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name the link in the comment section and i'll be more than glad to check it out Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.